Uh, so many nonprofits struggled to manage their campaigns effectively because they're stuck with a combination of siloed platforms and tools. Joe DiGiovanni, co-founder of Tap Network, is going to explain how HubSpot can be used to integrate your fundraising and marketing campaigns so that you have a true understanding of your donor relationships. Uh, so today we're going to talk about HubSpot. HubSpot is you know, like similar to a Salesforce, but not all that overkill that you might need for your nonprofit. And it takes a holistic view of everything you're looking to do to really communicate, not just with your donors, but volunteers, um, your members, your partners, your community leaders, the folks you're trying to impact. So it's a robust CRM that, that does it all. Today, we'll focus on how it can support nonprofits with donations, but knowing that all these other folks that you're working with, your volunteers, can be moved into the funnel. So we'll go through the funnel and each stage of how HubSpot can really help you raise donations. Uh, Tap Network is a supporter of uh, TechSoup. We provide all the marketing, website development, and HubSpot impl implementation for, for the nonprofits. What is, what is HubSpot? HubSpot, they used to go by this funnel, top funnel, mid funnel, bottom funnel in terms of driving, driving awareness, engagement, and conversion. They, they moved to this uh, flywheel. But what, what HubSpot does with all your donors, it helps you attract your, into your funnel, to your website, engage them through different pieces of content, and then ultimately delight them to the point where um, they can take action. So you can start with strangers, folks who aren't aware of your nonprofit, have them become prospects so they're into your database. And there's customers in this case would be donors and, and large fundraiser funders, and then ultimately promote or, or advocates. So kind of a high level overview of, of how HubSpot works. And then on the next slide, we'll take a look at the two different types of hubs. So if we can switch to the next slide, that, that would be great. There's a marketing hub and a sales hub. Perfect. So the marketing hub is more all about inbound marketing, whereas the sales, that's more outbound marketing, direct going after sales generation. So on the marketing hub side of HubSpot, that's where you'll manage your lead generation, your marketing analytics automation and your analytics and really driving fundraising uh, in an inbound way. So people are moving through the funnel, reading your content, and you'll be, you'll be driving donations in your sleep. Sales hub is more outbound marketing. This is where your development officer can really use the tools to generate uh, and error through your pipeline. On the next slide, we'll, we'll talk, we'll start the top of the funnel and kind of work through some depth of, of how HubSpot can help time you're working with the donor, uh, you want to start with awareness. How do you track more potential donors? And the great thing about HubSpot is no matter where that entry point is into the awareness phase, HubSpot has a tool that can create that type of content or that type of engagement and directly lead people into a landing page with a form and ultimately put, put you into that donation bucket. So on the left-hand side here, you could go on the back end of HubSpot and create uh, your email, and you could create email workflows and different types of emails. On the right hand side, you have your landing page where you can create landing pages associated with those emails. So you can do everything right through HubSpot across all these uh, touch. The next slide is about engagement. So on the back end, you could really create different workflows from an inbound standpoint, if there's a mom interested in healthy recipes, a teacher interested in CPR training, let's say you're a nonprofit or uh, heart health, you can create all these different workflows and customize the content for each person. And on the right side, that gets put into a list so you can actually set up these workflows from email or dynamic content. Anytime someone is on the website, your content is being specifically created, tailored and optimized for that one person. And on the next slide, we have nurtured. So this is really outbound marketing. This is where your development officer can look at the big deals that they're working. If there's a large foundation that wants to fund you, or there's a huge sponsor that wants to fund the gala or event, you could go on the back end and nurture these folks uh, all along the path. So that's, that's a quick and dirty uh, overview of HubSpot from awareness, engagement down to nurturing. And if anyone has any questions in regards to HubSpot, there is a discount that you can get through, uh, through TechSoup, and we can go into more details on, on that through a, a different set.